Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, we'll be discussing cross-pollination in pepper plants. So this is a really common question we get asked, don't we worry about our plants crossing with each other when they're planted so close to each other like we have behind me here? And I wanna start by saying cross-pollination really is only going to affect you if you plan on saving the seeds from your peppers. Having your bell pepper planted next to a hot pepper will not result in that bell pepper being a spicy bell pepper, even if they do cross with each other in that same year. But it is true that peppers naturally cross with each other very easily, especially if they're in the same species. But even if they're not in the same species, they still can cross pollinate. So it is an issue if you're planning to save your own seeds. So peppers are self-pollinating plants, which mean that the flowers contain both the male and the female reproductive organs. So every flower is capable of self-pollinating and then producing a pepper. So if you wanna avoid cross-pollination and ending up with seeds that are accidental hybrids, you wanna isolate those flowers and make sure that they self-pollinate and avoid the pollen from say your jalapenos ending up on your bell pepper flowers and creating a hybrid between the two. And by the way, there's really nothing wrong with self-pollination. A lot of people will ask, well, isn't that gonna create a deformed pepper or lead to some sort of issues? But that's really not the case. That's why pepper plants are so great. You can just have one plant in a pot and it will happily self-pollinate and produce peppers for you. If you wanna make sure that your plants maintain their genetics and that they don't cross with another, you'll have to isolate the plants from other varieties. And you can do that with distance or you can do it by creating a physical barrier around the flowers on the plants. Now, physical distance is very unreliable. In commercial operations, they'll separate sweet pepper varieties by up to a quarter of a mile. So the fields will be a quarter mile apart to ensure that those seeds are not a result of cross-pollination. And with hot pepper varieties, they'll keep them up to a mile away from each other. So it's not really practical to separate your plants by distance in a home garden setting. But the further away they are from each other, the better. So if you wanna try it that way, just keep your two varieties as far apart from each other as you can. A more reliable method would be using something like cheesecloth or paint strainer material, any physical barrier that prevents insects from accessing the flowers on the variety that you wanna keep consistent. So you would take something like this and surround the flowers before they open and just tie it off at the stem. You could surround the entire plant or you can just surround a select bunch of flowers. And then once the flowers open and the small peppers begin to form, you can remove the barrier, and then you know that those flowers have self-pollinated and they haven't crossed with any other varieties around. So yes, these are all different varieties. They will happily cross-pollinate with each other, and some of them are going to lead to accidental crosses. And we do save some of our seeds, but we're just not that worried about it. If we end up with an accidental hybrid, it doesn't really bother us that much. Most of the seeds that we plant each year are bought from seed suppliers who are actively isolating plants and making sure that they're not crosses. Or we're buying from commercial seed sellers that grow in a very controlled environment. So to sum up, no, your bell peppers are not gonna be spicy just because they were planted next to a spicy variety. But if you save the seeds out of your bell pepper or the spicy variety, there's a chance that they may have crossed and those seeds may produce a hybrid between your bell and your spicy peppers. We'll leave links down below where you can get this if you want to isolate your plants and make sure that they're not crossing with other varieties. It's really important to do, especially if you're trying to make your own variety and you want to stabilize that. It's really important that those plants are self-pollinated and not crossing with other varieties over the years. Feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comments below and what experiences you have with cross-pollination. Thanks for watching Pepper Geek and I'll see you next time.